Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through another really exciting project, and that's Radar Relay. Now, if you've followed the channel a lot lately, we've been talking about centralized versus decentralized exchanges and how I think we're going to see a move towards these decentralized options as people get more comfortable and familiar with how to use them. Now, Radar Relay is almost a second generation decentralized exchange. It's what's known as a modular trade network. Now this is all pretty advanced stuff. I'll do my best to walk you through exactly how this all works, but I recommend you watch my MyEther Wallet tutorial where we talk about how we're interacting with the Ethereum blockchain through these web-based interfaces, and also the 0x fundamental analysis we did a few months back where we spoke about what this project is, how it works, how I think it's a terrific investment because that base layer protocol, that 0x decentralized exchange, platform is going to have a lot of projects built on top of it and utilize that protocol giving the giving us more interoperability and, and functionality um, as we move forward and the whole ecosystem expands and zero x has certainly performed tremendously as an investment but i think we're just getting started with the number of use cases we're going to see so as radar relay says here trustless token trading you're the marketplace we're just the messenger and that's how it differs from traditional decentralized exchanges so we'll talk about how this all works so as always we want to interact with the decentralized exchange with this interface um, and there's a number of ways we can do that so we have to have some ethereum in a wallet to start off with so metamask you guys are probably familiar with the google chrome extension that has the inbuilt ethereum wallet in there that's one option or they've just um, recently enabled hardware wallet support. So we can plug in our ledger and we can trade and interact um, with the platform directly from our hardware wallet. Again, it's a fantastic option and that leads us to the next point about how this all works. So we wanna create an order. Now, the order book itself is all maintained off chain and that's what's fantastic about this compared to maybe Ether Delta where we have to lock up our, our coins in their smart contract or centralized exchanges where we have to send our coins to those exchanges to trade. This is all maintained in the order book offline. Only once the order is matched through the 0x protocol does the actual trade execute and the settlement happens on the Ethereum blockchain through the 0x protocol. The trade happens, coins move from A to B, and at that point there, do they leave my hardware wallet and I get the other coins that I buy. So that's what's so exciting about this. So let's have a look at how this works. So I've got my ledger plugged in. I've got some Ethereum in there, but you'll notice that the pairs that I can trade in for all my different altcoins are very different to a centralized exchange where we normally see altcoins priced in Bitcoin, Ethereum, US dollar tether. So keep in mind that Ethereum and, and 0x protocol built on top of Ethereum is what we're working with. So we've got a couple of options here. So we've got Maker Die. We've covered the Maker Die stable coin on the channel before. Um, we know that that's a sort of floating, pegged between all different currencies around the world. They're still tinkering with exactly how this works, but it's meant to be the ultimate stable coin. So we've heard all the issues surrounding Tether. They're trying to build an even better um, stable coin option. So what's wrapped Ethereum and how is that different to Ethereum? So if we want to interact with all these different projects and um, smart contracts on top of the Ethereum blockchain, developers created the ERC20 token standard. And it means that your coin and token meet certain criteria and conditions. Now, Ethereum itself doesn't actually meet those criteria and conditions. So by changing it from Ethereum to wrapped Ethereum, think of it as just turning your Ethereum into an Ethereum ERC20 form. So just a compliant that allows your Ethereum to now interact with the smart contract and all these other projects um, and meet those rules and criteria. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio, one ETH will, will equal one wrapped ETH when you just click on that wrap button there. The next thing we need to do is click this toggle button and enable your tokens for trading. So you might have a number of tokens in your hardware wallet, but you only want to enable um, trading of a few of them. So we want to enable that process there. And the other little feature here that I've recently added is just the ability to transfer, to send your tokens to another Ethereum address. Um, we're not worried about that for the time being. 
So we head on over here, and there's a number of coins listed on here now, but keep in mind that this radar relay is still in beta, so they're ironing our bugs, adding more features. At the moment, there's no fees while, while we're playing around with it, but in the future, you will need 0x to pay fees, that token. So just like when we use the Ethereum network, we have to pay ETH for gas fees, using the 0x protocol for the decentralized exchange, of different tokens, we'll have to pay fees in ZRX. Again, that token has a lot of intrinsic value. So once we've decided the coin we want to trade, the pair we want to trade it in, then it becomes like a traditional exchange. We can use market orders or limit orders where we set the price. We can click on a price and then change the amount of something we want to buy. If you don't want your order to get lost, we can click on this function here. This will copy it to the clipboard. We then just paste, and that'll take you to a URL of your exact order on Radar Relo. So another cool little feature that they've um, recently added there. Other than that, we've just got our usual order books, people waiting to buy, people waiting to sell, the price that they're buying or selling at, um, and the, the equivalent um, US dollar value of those orders and then the trade history, all the orders that have executed already for the 0x wrapped Ethereum pair in this marketplace. So hopefully that's all pretty clear, guys. Um, the other things that are, we've spoken about today that are important to note is that ledger functionality, how your coins are safe on your hardware. Well, it's only when we execute the order that that exchange happens. All those order books are maintained off-chain, so as more and more projects get built on top of 0x, we get more and more liquidity. Um, fees will get lower and lower, so they should be far lower than traditional exchanges that make a die stable coin. Um, I'm really looking forward to having more and more um, importance placed on that. Hopefully this video has given you a nice introduction to how this all works. Please share this video around, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button, and as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.